Okay, guys, if you can see Mr. Strickland, give me thumbs up. Everybody, give me a thumbs up if you can see him. All right, so Mr. Strickland, uh, it is in your hands. Let's have lots of fun. And guys, I want you to go out there and do your best. Yes, so we have, uh, I, I know we've got several different schools participating today. So this is really awesome. This is great stuff. And uh, we plan on doing this with several different instructors from di several different schools from several different states. Uh, as Mr. Spikar said, uh, I've known him for quite some time. I went to visit his instructor out in Lexington, Kentucky. And uh, I met him then in 2008 and, and the rest is history. He lives in South Lake now. So you guys that are training with him, that's awesome. I know that Ms. Mitchell's online. I think she has some of her students. They're from Birmingham. I saw Mr. Vincent from Baton Rouge, Mr. Sorcy from Milwaukee. So there's students from all over the place. So let's all, let's all have some fun. So today we're gonna work on some skills and the skills are gonna be put into a drill. Okay, so everybody knows what a technique is. A technique is a skill. So the first two skills that we're gonna do is gonna be, be a jab cross. So I'm gonna set the timer. I'm gonna execute and show you guys how to do it. And then I want you guys to do each one of these skills that we do uh, for the 30 seconds the timer is running. Okay, then I'm gonna stop it and then we'll build, we're just gonna be building blocks. We're gonna stack this into a drill. Okay, so a drill is a, a combination of techniques and skills that are put together, okay? Your instructors probably know thousands of different drills, okay? So uh, this is just one drill that, that we do in our school that uh, I wanna share with you guys today, all right? So I'm gonna take a fighting stance. So we're gonna be in a left, left arm. And the first two skills are gonna be a simple jab and a cross, okay? So it's gonna be a jab and a cross. So if you have somebody that has a target, you can actually hold the target, that person's gonna do the jab cross on that target, okay? If you're by yourself and you're solo, then you can just do the jab cross in the air, all right? So that's gonna be our first, first start. So from here, we're right here, we're loose, shoulders roll forward, elbows in, jab cross, okay, for 30 seconds. So 30 seconds, jab cross, and go. Let's see everybody do that, okay? Good, good combinations. Keep those hands up, hands next to your chins, cheeks, cover. Don't drop your elbows, or don't let your elbows flare out. Don't drop your hands, keep those hands up. Jab cross, 30 seconds. Everybody's looking pretty sharp there, yep. Straight line punch, okay? Make sure that arm travels out in a straight line, okay? Don't let it swing out. We're not, we're not throwing it overhead cross. We're going in a straight line cross. And stop, all right, very good. Okay, so from here, we're gonna add a power slap. A power slap is with the side of the palm of my hand, the palm of my hand hitting the guy on the side of the jaw, okay? So instead of doing a hook punch, we're gonna do a power slap. So we're gonna go jab, cross, lead hand power slap. Uh, power slap. So if you're, if you're not familiar with the power slap, side of your hand, Using the heel of your hand to strike the guy right on the jaw. Get the other side, so you see the other side. Okay, and uh, come on this side, too, please. So here's your power slap. Okay, that's the back hand. What we're gonna do with the lead hand? Okay, bam. So it's gonna be jab, cross, lead hand, power slap. So it's gonna go left, right, left. So I want everybody to do that. Left, right, left. Jab, cross, power slap. Right to the side of the jaw. Ready? Go. Thirty seconds. Thirty-five seconds. Give me a good little workout there. Warm your body up. Jab, cross, power slap. Okay? Jab, cross, power slap. Nice. Yep, get your hip into it. Turn your hips into that power slap. Turn your hip into that cross, okay? Straight jab, roll, roll. Roll my hips in that cross, roll my hips into that power slap. Okay, looking good, guys. Jab, cross, and power slap. All right, good job. All right, so that's 35 seconds. All right, now we're gonna add another skill, okay? So our next skill, next skill is gonna be, a, is gonna be an elbow strike. This elbow strike is gonna come up diagonally, okay? So it's not a horizontal flat elbow like we do in your good pattern and some of the other things we do. It's gonna come up at a slight angle. So if she was hitting me, it would come up at a slight angle right to the jaw, okay? Straight up this way, okay? So in this, Combination, we're gonna go jab, cross, power slap, and then elbow strike. 
Okay? Jab, cross, power slap, elbow strike. Jab, cross, power slap, elbow strike. Okay? So let's see if you guys can do that. 35 seconds. So it's going to go left, right, left, right. Okay? Go. Yes. Boom. That's it. So, jab, cross, slap, elbow. Left, right, left, right. Jab, cross, power slap, elbow strike. Jab, cross, power slap, elbow strike. Left, right, left, right. Okay, that's pretty darn good. All right, you guys are looking sharp. Okay, so let's add another skill. Okay, so we're gonna go jab, cross, power slap, elbow strike. From here, we're gonna do a knee strike. Okay, so we go one, two, slap, elbow, knee strike. Okay, jab him, cross him, power slap him, elbow strike him, grab a hold of him, knee him. Okay, so that should go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, she was doing this to me, she punched me here. One, two, three, four, five. If you have a target, you can do the same thing on the target. One, two, three, four, five. All right, see so you do that. Give me, give me 35 seconds of that. Be strong, go! Nice, well, nice, keep your hands up. Hit him, hit him strong. Punch him twice in the nose. Jaw with the power slap, jaw with the elbow, and then smash him in the face with that knee strike. All right, awesome job. Okay, we're gonna add another technique. All right, so here we go. We're building up on the skill set skill. One, two, jab cross, power slap, elbow, knee strike. That foot comes back down behind me. And then I'm gonna finish him with a right round kick. Pow! Okay, and that's gonna end the drill. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then finish him with a right round kick. So he's gonna, he's gonna look at it here. We're gonna go jab cross, power slap, elbow, that foot comes back and then finish with a round kick. All right, so give me your best Taekwondo round kick at the end. So you're gonna pop this guy. Ready and go. Looking good. Boom, nice kicks. Look at these guys, holy cow. Nice guys, nice kicks. And you guys are burning it out. Look how strong that is. Nice job. All right. So we don't get to use our elbows and knees when we're free sparring uh, because they're so dangerous. You know, the elbow and the knee are awesome sparring tools, uh, or, or I should say fighting tools. They're awesome for fighting. Uh, not so good for free sparring because we'd end up hurting our partner. We don't want to hurt our partner. We don't want to destroy the other person. But in a real combative situation, knees and elbows work great. All right? So from here, we're going to work on a straight elbow. This is just going to go straight in. Okay? This is a straight elbow. If I was right here with her, this elbow would go straight. Okay? It'd be a straight strike. Or if she was punching at me, I could actually steer that into that elbow as a defensive tool. Remember, not all strikes are strikes. Sometimes those strikes can be actually defensive as in blocks. So I want everybody to do a straight elbow, forearm, with the back arm. So your left foot's forward, right elbow, right elbow. Okay, give me 30 seconds. Go. Yes. So that's just a straight up vertical elbow. 
Boom. We have Jean Jang pattern, which is one of the black belt patterns. We have this elbow strike in it, okay? Or this elbow block. Yes, okay? It also can be done with, obviously, with the lead hand, okay? Straight up, straight up. Just driving that elbow forward. And stop, all right, good. So, we have this straight in elbow. We just did an upward elbow at a diagonal, coming up like on an 87. Then we have our horizontal elbow. Most everybody's done this sometime in their training on targets, okay? So we're gonna work on another one. The other one is a diagonal downward elbow, okay? We're gonna come down, okay? So this one is gonna come downward. So I want you to bring this elbow in a downward motion, in a downward slice. Okay, cut down like an X, straight down. Okay, give me, give me 30 seconds of that downward elbow, go, yes. One day you'll be breaking bricks and this will be the start of that. Yes. And relax, all right, good job guys. All right, now we got a downward. So we had, a, we had the horizontal here, or excuse me, the, the vertical here. Now we got a vertical coming straight down. So this one comes straight down, straight down, okay? Hit that person right on the bridge of the face, or bridge of the nose, downward elbow. So I want you guys to work this, downward strike, okay? So we're not limited to just a form, a, a horizontal elbow. We got all these different angles, ready, go. So downward elbow. These guys look sharp. Pow. See, Mr. Nelson's here. He's looking sharp. All right, everybody relax. All right, cool. So let's get back to kicking again. So we're gonna go back to a kickbox drill. All right, so one of my uh, favorite old time kickboxers was a guy by the name of Joe Lewis. This is gonna be part of your homework. So everybody's gotta go and you gotta look up heavyweight kickboxing champion, world champion kickboxer by the name of Joe Lewis. I want you guys to look him up and read about him, kind of discover who this kickboxer was and what made him so, so incredible, all right? So we already worked on a jab, a cross. We're gonna go jab, cross, and we're gonna do a lead hand hook, okay? So we're gonna go jab, cross, lead hand hook. Jab, cross, lead hand hook. All right, so I want everybody to do that 30 seconds. So instead of a power slap this time, we're doing a hook punch. Jab, cross, and hook, go. Jab, cross, and hook punch. Jab, cross, hook, nice. Man, some of you guys are really getting your hip into that. That's what I wanna see. You should get your hip into your cross, you want to get your hip into that hook punch, right? Don't drop our, don't drop our hands. Keep our elbows in tight, okay? Turn your hip. Nice job. All right, okay. Because it's kickboxing, we got to add a kick in here. All right, so the cool thing about this drill is we go straight with this one, with the jab, we pivot on our cross, we pivot on our hook, and I'm gonna set all my weight back down to my left side and I'm gonna deliver the right round kick, okay? So the round kick could be to the, to the leg. I can go jab, cross, hook, and I can pivot in the leg, okay? Or I can kick to the head. You guys are all doing Taekwondo, so unless you're really old like Mr. Strickland, you know, most of you guys can kick head high. So we're gonna go jab, cross, hook him in the head, and then finish with a high round kick to the head. Because that's what Joe Lewis would have done back in the day. All right, ready? And 30 seconds, go. Woo, somebody's got a bag there, and he's done kicking it over. Look at that, that's what I wanna see. Some power in that kick. So jab, cross, hook, and it should just whine, your hips are, Swinging from side to side. Your hips should be swinging side to side. Jab, cross, hook, kick. Just roll, roll with that, roll with it. Good job, guys.
Okay. All right, so now we're gonna change it a little bit. Okay, so we've been throwing that jab. Most of us are right-handed. So we're gonna go from this left guard, and I want you to throw a cross first. So we're just gonna throw that backhand cross. That backhand cross. So turn your hip into it, okay? Turn your body into that cross. Make sure that your chin is right on your shoulder, okay? Cross, cross. Okay, so now let's go cross, hook, cross, hook, cross, hook, cross, hook. Now let's go cross, hook, cross, cross, hook, cross. So we're going that backhand first, cross, hook, cross, recover, cross, hook, cross, recover, cross, hook, cross, okay? Now we're gonna throw one more kick, because we're doing kickboxing, right? So we go cross, hook, cross, and as we fall back on my right leg, I pick up my lead leg, and I do a round kick with my left leg, my lead leg. So it becomes a lead leg kick. So it's cross with the backhand, cross, hook, cross, shift back and kick with that. So for right here, she was doing this, it'd be a cross, a hook, a cross, and then that lead leg, pow. All right, let's see everybody do that for about, 30 seconds to see what we got here. Go! Looking good. Pow, 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 pow. Remember, cross, hook, cross. Backhand, lead hand, backhand. Woohoo! All right, okay, so everybody take a break. All right, we're gonna do an elbow strike again because I really like, I'm a fan of the elbow strikes. Okay, so we did a vertical, horizontal, diagonal. We did each one of these elbow strikes. So now we're gonna do an elbow spike backwards, okay? So I've got my right side forward or my left side forward. It's gonna be from the lead hand elbow spike with the back of my elbow. Okay, I'm right here would be this movement. Okay, an elbow spike. She was hitting me, it would be an elbow spike. Okay, back of my elbow, bang. Okay, it would be back of my elbow. You work the right side and the left side. Okay, right side and the left side. You can actually push that elbow in and grab your hand and thrust it in there. Elbow spike. So you're gonna drive that spike of that elbow right into the guy. Okay, give me 30 seconds, go. Work the right, work the left. Spike it. Yes. Spike. Spike. So we're going sideways. Sideways. You're fighting two bad guys, you can hit them on either side. One on this side, one on that side. Get creative with your training. That's the cool thing about training at home is you can, your imagination is limitless. You could be fighting all the bad guys around you. Okay. All right, we're gonna do one more. One more elbow strike. Okay, so we were just doing this elbow spike forward. Now from here, we're gonna do a spin elbow spike. Okay, spin elbow spike. From here, spin elbow strike. She was fighting me, she could spin and hit me. Bang, she was really quick, she could do two. One, two, ouch. All right, Let's see you guys do that, 30 seconds. Don't get dizzy, don't lose your balance. Go, be strong. Nice job, look at these guys. Woohoo. Guys look sharp. All right, and relax. Okay, so those are just some, some of the little drills that we do in the class that uh, I do here at the school for the students. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed them. We're not done. So we're gonna finish this with something fun. Okay, so this requires uh, some thinking on your behalf. Okay, so you gotta get ready. I need everybody to go and find me something in the color blue. Find me something blue and bring it back to the camera. Go, something blue. Blue, what's blue? Oh, -ho. here we go, here we go. Give me something blue, there's a blue watch, there's a blue, yep. Tumblers, tumblers, mat, that's one of those little twirly things, yep. Everybody got something blue, there we go. There's a shirt, yep. There's a cooler, a teddy bear. This is pretty cool, all right. Got a blanket. We got a blanket, I got a bag, I got all kinds. That's, oh, that blue was too easy. All right, so find me something pink, pink, pink. Man, pink's too easy too. Look at that. Uh oh, did I get them all? Oh, there we go. There's pink books. There's all kinds, some of this stuff, I don't even know what it is. There's all kinds of pink things. All right, nice job, guys. All right, oh, that was too easy. All right, so find me something square in the shape of a square. <laughs> oh, somebody got a post-it, yep. Somebody's got a koozie, somebody's got a phone, pillows, box, kicking pad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody picked up a chair. Yep, that's square. Yep, kicking targets. Nice job. Looks like a piece of candy. All right, I'm gonna stump you on this one. Yeah, everybody, nice job. There's a checkerboard. All right, last time. This one's gonna be tough. You're probably not gonna be able to get this one. I need something circular, something in a circle, round. Oh, a balloon. <laughs> Yep, a basketball, yep, there we go, soccer ball. <laughs> yes, yep, soccer ball, basketball, kickball. Yep, that's round on the target. It looks like a little button. Yep, there's a mitt. Got fruit. Got fruit, somebody's got a cantaloupe. You should bring that to, send that to Mr. Strickland and a watermelon. <laughs> yes, you guys can send that to me. All right, awesome job, guys. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and put those up and let's all come back here. Let's get Mr. Spikar on the line. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing, guys? Doing good? Yes, doing good. Was it fun? All right, let me see, uh, let me see uh, over here. So we, we, at one point, we were at, uh, we were at 62 participants, guys. Wow. So that means with some of the siblings training together, we could have had, uh, maybe 80 people training today with this morning. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Strickland. All oh, right, listen, you, we've, got, we've got a few minutes for some questions. If you have a question, I want you to use the chat feature to raise your hand and I'm going to unmute you so we can ask the question. All right, Nicholas has a question. All right, let me see. Okay, Nicholas, what is your question? Nicholas, what is your question? My question is, how long have you been training for? Well, I started in 1979. 1979. Yeah, look, your eyes got really big. How, how long is that? 1979. Nicholas, where are you from? What school are you, are you from? Hold on, hold on, Nicholas. I'm going to unmute you again. Spycar's Martial Arts. You're from Spycar's Martial Arts here in South Lake, Texas. All right. So, yeah, I've been doing martial arts for over 40 years. 40, 41 years. 41 years. All right, guys. Anybody else has a question? Raise your hand, please. There's Matthew on the bottom, looks like. Matthew Heigel. I don't see anybody raising the hand. There's, there's a young lady, he's got her, she's outside, Keith's iPad, and there's a young man, Matthew Heigel. He's got his hand up, raise your hand higher. Raise it oh, up. I mean, you, gotta, you, gotta, you, you gotta use the, uh, the chat feature because I don't see you uh, on the cameras. You oh. gotta use. Uh, the actual uh, Zoom app to raise your hand. Go and push the little chat feature, the chat chat. 
He, Mr. Spycar can't see your... Uh... Yeah, or raise your hand. Uh, where can you raise your hand? Oh, you gotta press more <laughs> uh, to raise your hand. So there's a little kid named Matthew Heigl, and there's one that says Keith's iPad. They had their hands raised. All right, Keith iPad. I'm gonna unmute you now. Keith iPad. Keith, do you have a question? Um, did you go to like a school to learn, or did you learn by yourself? <laughs> I, I had an instructor too. We all have instructors. Uh, my instructor was from Mobile, Alabama. That's where I first started training in Mobile. And uh, I started in 1979. So my first Taekwondo instructor, he still teaches there, matter of fact. He, has, he still has a school in Mobile, Alabama. But even today, I still have an instructor. I've been doing martial arts for over 41 years and I still have an instructor. Um, I'm, I'm a blue belt in a different system of martial arts. So. Just like you guys are different belt colors, even though you make it to a black belt, doesn't mean that it's the end of your training. You keep training and training and training. So actually I have another instructor in Texas that I still train with. Cool, huh? Okay, guys, I have uh, another question uh, from uh, Ms. Craig Poole. All right, let me see if I can unmute. Dude, that's for Leslie, Leslie, yeah. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Oh. Gia, what What's your age, question, Gia? What age were you when you started training? I was about 15 years old. Okay, 15 years old. That's awesome. <laughs> some of you guys are. Some of you guys uh, can become grandmasters uh, sooner than Mr. Strickland. That's if true. Training at six uh, or seven years old. Any other question, guys? Raise your hand. Uh, there's Nicholas. He has a question. Nicholas, he has a question. Um, my second question is, um, how did you ever have braces when you're like our age, <laughs> and how long have you had glasses? Uh, yeah, okay. I never had braces when I was a kid. I was lucky. My teeth all came in pretty straight, but uh, I, I just started wearing glasses about five years ago, probably reading glasses. So. Uh, I can see you guys, but you're a little bit blurred. Uh, when I start reading names and stuff, I can't see them. So yes, I'm getting old. I'm like Ogwai, that uh, the turtle, you know, from Panda. Okay, there is a question from uh, Ethan, Lone Wolf. Ethan. What's your question, Ethan? Yeah, we've got some audio issues. Can I, can I see if everybody raise your hand if you're from the Flower Mound School, from my school? Yes, all right, cool. I, I'm just kind of trying to see. All right, raise your hand if you're from uh, Milwaukee, from South Milwaukee, from Mr. Sorcy School. Anybody here from Mr. Sorcy School? Oh, there she is, okay. Anybody else? You know, Mr. Sorcy is the actually the guy that got me started in FMA, martial arts. If it wasn't for him, uh, I wouldn't be training in Filipino martial arts. And he's actually got several other people doing it. So uh, you guys are lucky to have that, uh, that instructor to train with up there in South Milwaukee. How many of you guys are from, uh, from Mr. Spikar School in South Lake? Okay. Yep, I was there when Mr. Spikar was testing for his yellow belt, believe it or not. He was telling you about that demonstration I did. That's the first time he ever saw a demonstration. He was a, uh, I, I was lucky enough to be the, his uh, first first instructor doing that. How many are from uh, from Forney, from Mr. Ashwood School? Anybody from Mr. Forney? Yeah, cool, cool. Uh, Miss Mitchell School out in uh, Pelham from Birmingham. Anybody here from Birmingham? How about from Mr. Nelson School? Anybody from Lexington? Yes, there we go. We got some people from Lexington too. Nice job. So um, we. Miss we we want to keep doing this and keep training like this. I think Mr. Ashwood is going to teach next Wednesday. So did yes. you guys have fun today? Did we have fun today? Give me a thumbs up if you had fun. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Strickland, Ethan is asking, what is your favorite move? What is my favorite move? My favorite, yes. uh, my favorite technique when I, when I was free sparring was uh, the hook kick. I always like doing a hook kick. And uh, That's my I, 
I got to where I started even doing it in demonstrations, using it uh, when I was in doing uh, one step sparring and I used it even for board breaking. And uh, the, the, the thing about the hook kick is most people don't feel like it's, uh, it's very strong and they feel like, oh, it's too difficult. It doesn't have a lot of power behind it compared to a round kick or even a side kick. And uh, the hook kick is very deceptive. And believe it or not, you can break boards with a hook kick. And it, it, it is a powerful kick. Most people underestimate it. Uh, but it should be in your arsenal of three kicks. It should be your, your round kick, your side kick, and your hook kick. Don't es underestimate the hook kick. That was probably my most favorite kick. Uh, Mr. Strickland, we have one more question. Uh, here is from Raylan. What is one, what is one step sparring? Well, one step is it's prearranged movements. It's kind of like uh, free sparring, but the other person doesn't move. So if we were doing a one step, for instance, traditionally, she would step back into a low block. And I would be right here and I would say, or attack, and she would attack me. And then I would do whatever the prearranged sequence is for that. Okay, so that's traditionally a one step. So one steps are designed to build techniques, okay? Some of you guys are doing one steps. You, you probably just not called one steps. I know there was a young man on here, Mr. Uh, Mr. Spikar, Matthew yeah. Heigl. Matthew, I unmuted you. What's your question, Matthew? Uh, what rank black belt are you? Well, I'm a I'm an eighth degree, eighth degree black belt. Nice. So, yep, been doing this a long time, and it's been a lot of fun. And uh, part of the reason why it's fun is uh, two things: is that um, one is I get to train people like you guys. I have my own school and I watch individuals come through the ranks from a white belt all the way to black belt. And then uh, I have the opportunity to meet other instructors and we all become part of a, uh, of a greater family. That's, why, that's the reason why we're doing right, what we're doing today. You guys are all part of a tribe now, okay? So we're all part of this great big tribe. So even though you may be in a school in Milwaukee for a school in Kentucky, for a school in Texas or wherever you're from, you guys are all part of a greater family. You guys are, have all joined this tribe and it's a special tribe. And uh, all of us are together in that. That's, that's why I like, uh, I like doing what I'm doing so much. And Mr. Strickland, we have one more question from Keith, uh, uh, Keith iPad. I see Keith, where's Keith's from? Um, that's my grandfather and my um, tablet is out of batteries. What school do you train from? Lindemuth Martial Arts. Lindemuth, oh, and Virginia, Mr. Lindemuth. Yeah, that's right, very good. I'm so glad you guys are here. So Lindemuth Martial Art is in uh, Virginia. So Roanoke, Virginia. So you guys should have homework. You should go and look up where are these schools from? Where are these other Taekwondo schools from these martial arts schools that are part of this tribe? Where are they from? In South Milwaukee, in Roanoke. Okay, what's my your question? My question was: When you were a kid, did you ever have to move and go to a different karate uh, place? No, I was lucky enough that I I continued to train with the school that I originally started with, and uh, I was uh, I started there from white belt all the way up until the time that I moved away to open my own school. I know that a lot of kids train in other schools, and sometimes you'll have to move and go someplace else. Uh, and you, and you can hope for the best, okay? You can hope for the best. If you guys are, uh, if you're training at Mr. Lindemuth School, then you're at one of the best, okay? Uh, second best, because I'm better than him, right? Just kidding, just kidding. So, yeah, you're at Mr. Lindemuth School. I've known Mr. Lindemuth as, uh, I remember when Mr. Lindemuth was a white belt. If you can believe that, I used to have a school in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I went when Mr. Lindemuth was a white belt out in, uh, in Roanoke. So, uh, I've been around a long time. I've known a lot of these guys. So if you're training with Mr. Lindemood, you're training with the best in Roanoke right now. Mr. Stricken, we have a question uh, from uh, Karen. Karen? Hello, Mr. Strickland. It's me, Karen, Karen Mitchell. Miss Mitchell, how are you? Okay. Hey, I took, your, I took your class, but I didn't yes. hear you. I don't know. Then I got on my phone and maybe I worked it out. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, I just want to say hello and thank you for doing this. It was a good class. Well, thank you so much, Miss Mitchell. Ms. Mitchell is actually higher ranked than me, okay? Ms. Mitchell is uh, one rank higher than me. She'll, she'll be getting her ninth degree soon. And uh, I've known Ms. Mitchell since the time that I started Taekwondo. We, uh, we were actually going to tournaments together when we were at the green and blue belt, red belt level. 
And uh, I've known her. Yeah, we we sparred together for my we sparred together for my fourth degree. I sparred her when she was testing for her fourth degree black belt at national testing. And Miss uh, Miss Mitchell, her school is in one of the suburbs of uh, Birmingham, Alabama. So, yeah, wow, this is great stuff. So, uh, All right. Mr. Strickland, we have a question from Lee and Jonah. Lee and Jonah. Um, we don't have a question, but we just wanted to thank you for doing the Zoom classes. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. What school are you guys from? Uh, Mr. Nelson. Sir. Mr. Nelson. I tell you what, you guys have one of the, a top-notch instructor. Mr. Nelson is one of the most, uh, you know, if I, was to, if I was to count five people on my hand as one of the most phenomenal technicians I ever, be, I ever met and ever seen do martial arts, do taekwondo, he would be one of those people. He is, uh, he is top notch. And, uh, and you I'm got so lucky to train with him. That's the reason why Mr. Spikeyer turned out so well. Okay? So you, you, guys are, uh, you guys are lucky to be training with him. He's, a, he's an amazing, I've known him. We used to train together. Uh, matter of fact, I think the first time I free sparred at Greenbelt level, he was one of the guys that I fought at the tournament. I don't remember if he beat me or if I beat him, but it was a long time ago. Uh, I know I've lost as many tournaments as I've won. So, but yeah, we used to compete. He was in New Orleans when I was in Mobile. So yeah, you guys are lucky, good instructor. Absolutely amazing instructor. Mr. Nelson is, uh, is my original instructor till today. So I came up, uh, I came up from, uh, from his school. So I hope everybody learned something today. I hope that you got something from the, uh, from the, from the training exercises. Um, it's, some of it's a little bit different. You know, some of it's not. Uh, the, the whole idea for us to do this is to share different concepts with you guys and hopefully you guys get a workout from it and understand how some of these things work, right? I know it's, it's tough being at home, being bored. So you just got to kind of get creative, learn some of the things, share, remember some of the things I taught you today, get out there and pound on the bag. If you got a bag, if you don't, punch it air, kick it air, just keep working it, you know, and then, uh, and then just uh, when you get back to your school, you know, ask your instructor, say, hey, remember when Mr. Strickland taught that drill? Can we do that drill? They'll do it with you, right? Because I know that's what's going to happen with mine. My guys are going to be going, hey, you know, Mr. Nelson showed us this drill. Miss Mitchell showed us this drill because all of these guys are going to be teaching for you. So you guys uh, train, train, train. Okay. Awesome job. All right, guys, fantastic. Let's finish this seminar. And uh, uh, how about we, uh, we all stand up and we're gonna get into our attention stand. So everybody, team, hands out like this. When I say set, you say yes, sir. Set. Yes, sir. When I say yes, I can. Bow. Yes, yes I can. can. All right, team, thank you very much. See you guys next Wednesday with Mr. Ashwood. If you guys have any questions uh, for Mr. Strickland, you can definitely visit his website, stricklandstkd.com and send him an email. Mr. Strickland, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for doing this. I know that uh, some of the school owners want to stick around and talk, or, or do you want to do that on FaceTime? We should definitely get together. Let's do FaceTime. Okay. All right. So any of you instructors that would like to do that, school owners, let's get together and let's plan, uh, let's plan next week and the week after. Bye, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming today.